Hello, everyone. Thank you all so much for coming on, joining with me. It is Lakedra again, and I want to thank you all, Precious Standards, so much as well for all of your support and your words of encouragement. And as you come on, joining with me each and every day, I thank you so much. And also even for your prayers for one another, for your brothers and your sisters, those that are in the fight, those that are in the struggle along with you. But with God, all things are possible, precious standards. You are not alone in this fight. God is with you in the waters, in the floods. He is with you in the midst of that storm. And you know, his word tells us, whatsoever you pray, believing you've received, it will be yours. And so whatever you are believing, is yours the lord says it will be yours and if you are struggling precious standards with believing that what you've prayed for is yours ask god to help you ask him to help you to believe that what you are asking for concerning his word for your marriage and restoration in your home and family and whatever else you are believing god for ask the lord to allow you to see that you have what you've prayed for for he is the author and the finisher of your faith and remember faith is seeing in the realm of the spirit what your eyes in the natural cannot see and only god can show you things to come that's what the holy spirit is able to do in our life for the lord says he will he will show you things to come but make sure when you pray that you are not holding any grudges any unforgiveness or bitterness toward anyone so that your father in heaven will also forgive your sins and trespasses and will hear and answer your prayers now this is what the lord has instructed us to do and so you want to go before him with a pure heart and he will help you and give you what you've asked for hallelujah and if it is lots of hurt and bitterness and pain deep down in your heart precious standards only the holy spirit can help you release it ask god to help you forgive and to give you the grace for I know it's not easy. You know, we all have been through it all. And so this is something only the Lord can help you do. The Holy Spirit that was with him on that cross. Helping him cry out, Father, forgive them. For they know not what they do. It's the same one who will be with you. Helping you to forgive those that have hurt you. That have sinned against you. The Holy Spirit will give you the grace to do it and allow you to pray to your Heavenly Father out of a good, pure heart. And He will hear you. He will lift you up, precious standards, when we come before Him with a humble heart. But the Bible tells us that he who hides his sin will not prosper. And so get that straight. If nothing else, make sure that there is nothing between you and your God. For God wants to see you healed. He wants to see restoration in your life. It is his gift to you. All of his children and those that love him. Hallelujah. It is what is given to us by the spirit that is true. It is what, it is what the spirit gives and imparts into our lives that profits us. And comes to pass. And so I wanted to come on and just encourage you people of God. I wanted you to get your eyes back on the prize. It doesn't matter what things look like in the natural. You know, we walk by faith and not by sight. And that's what faith is. Faith is seeing things through the eyes of the spirit. Faith is seeing beyond what your eyes are seeing now. And that marriage precious standard. That you have prayed and asked God for and believed you've received it will be yours. And I know the Lord is leading you to declare those things 
that be not as though they are. And as you speak what you are declaring, it will be yours as the word of God tells us. In Hebrews chapter 11 verse 3, how the Lord framed the whole earth by faith. The earth came forth from the invisible word that was spoken. And that's what's coming forth in your life, that marriage. As it is written, a man shall leave father and mother and be joined to his wife. And they too shall be one flesh. For the things that you are speaking is what's going to come forth. From the invisible word of faith that is going forth out of your mouth. Get ready, precious standards. That's what's coming forth in your life. As the word of God became flesh that was spoken by the prophets in the days of old. The very words that you have been speaking is what's going to come forth. That marriage is what's going to become. As the word became flesh, so is your marriage going to be. As Christ and the church are one flesh as it is written. Get ready precious standards. I want you to be encouraged for greater is he that is in you than he that is in this world with Christ God Almighty for you all things are possible as you believe them and so be preparing your heart and your mind precious standards begin focusing on the things that the Lord is calling you to do so when that spouse come back you will be ready. You will be well prepared. And the Lord is going to cause it to come forth. In due season. The best is yet to come. It doesn't matter if there has been a divorce. Remember the word which is the seed. Will produce. After its own kind. As a apple seed produces apple trees. So will the word of God produce. For you after its own kind. That marriage shall be an illustration. Of the way Christ and the church are one. For it is written. Believe it precious standards. For it is yours. It shall be as it is written. As you speak it forth. And the Lord is able to cause. Those things in your life. That be not. As though they are. As you speak them forth, for you are made in his image and likeness. You are called to declare and decree a thing, and it will be established unto you. For it is not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord. And so get ready, precious standards. You be encouraged, for God is on your side as you trust in him, obey him, walk in his ways. Draw unto him. He will draw unto you. As you begin to trust in him. You will never be put to shame. And every lie. That the enemy has been surrounding you with. The word of truth. Is going to overcome it all. Hallelujah. Precious standards. You be encouraged. For God is not through with you yet. Praise the Lord. Father we just thank you. For the best. That is yet to come. We love you and adore you Father. And for that one that is hurting right now Lord. And needing eyes to see. May you Lord God give them eyes of the spirit. May you impart faith in their heart. As they hear your word. May you help them to believe it. We give you all the glory and all the honor and all the praise. And thank you Lord. The voice cases I declare and decree are being overturned. Thank you Lord spouses are returning back home. Their hearts are being turned back even to their children. And their children's hearts are being turned back to them. Thank you, Lord. I declare and decree. Husbands are being joined to their wives. And they too are becoming one flesh. And it is so. In the mighty name of Jesus. We give you the praise and thanks for what is coming our way. That harvest. Lord God. A hundredfold return. We receive it and thank you for the blessings of the Lord that make it rich and you add no sorrow to it. And thank you, Father, for everyone who have been so generous in supporting the work of God. Lord, we thank you 
for them. May you bless the works of their hands and give them the desires of their hearts. Lord God, for doing all those things that are pleasing in your sight. I give you the praise for each and every one of these precious standards. And all that have joined with me, Lord God, we give you the praise. And we say amen to your will. Amen to your ways, O oh God. In Jesus' holy name. Amen. Amen and amen. Remember, God loves you, precious standards. And I love you too. And until next time, you be blessed. All is well. Bye-bye.